Is it a bad thing? Yep. You know why we're here. In the eastern part of Johannesburg lies an abandoned hospital, probably one of the most famous haunted locations in South Africa. Why the institution closed down is still a matter of speculation. Malpractice resulting in a bad reputation, underutilization and financial reasons all form part of the conversation. A former nurse did confirm with us, however, that the place closed down on the 31st of December, the year 2000. As the notice was served over a period of time, closing the hospital systematically until the final day. Twenty years later the building still remains desolate and in disrepair, with thousands passing through looking for the promised touch of the paranormal. Some stories include that the institution was built on ley lines, and others talk of attachments following them home after an innocent visit. We are even led to believe that the activity at the Kempton is so rife that it overflows into the surrounding neighborhoods. In a career spanning almost a decade in the paranormal field, this was the one location still on our list. And we finally had the chance to document what lurks in the shadows of the Kempton Park Hospital. This is roughly the fourth floor of the hospital wing. I'm alone in the building. This is probably one of the most dangerous things you can actually do here. That's the elevator right there. And that's the drop all the way down there. We needed more information on what to expect on our expedition. So we came into contact with individuals that go there on a regular basis. Kunal Dibnarian, or Crow as he is better known, is a martial artist that visits the location on a regular basis to practice his art in the quiet abandoned backdrop of the hospital. I am yet to meet somebody who knows of Kempton Park Hospital that is not inquisitive enough to want to go and explore the place. And I think that's kind of how my fascination started with watching famous explorers such as Sam and Colby, exploring with Josh on YouTube and watching them go into these abandoned places and go and investigate. And for me, it was never about the investigation side of things, but more the exploration. But after the times that I experienced a few odd occurrences, um, that's the moment when I started to believe that there's definitely something happening in this place. A few months ago, a friend and I were exploring Kempton Park Hospital and we ended up in the basement area. And it's at the end of the tunnel in one of these areas that I saw a shadow figure and I stared at it for about three seconds and when it moved it kind of really frightened me and uh, that's the moment that I knew that there's definitely some truth to what everybody's being saying about this place. What you have found here? Well I've been here 16 times and through the day, through the night, we found some weird stuff here. A couple of things happened. First thing, I brought my dad here one night um, because there were stories going around of people coming here and ghosts climbing on their back. My dad, who's not a believer in ghosts, he was here. As we walked out, he kept on shouting, take this thing off my back, take this thing off my back. 
Ja. Dad freaked him out. After that, he doesn't know. He said as soon as he left the gate, it was gone. Oh wow. Yeah. Another thing, we sat there one night, but it was all stormy night, and I just tried something. It was night time, and I said, if there's anybody that can hear me, can you make a noise or something? And one of those windows up there actually opened and closed just once. And wow. I said, if you say yes close and open once if it's no close and open twice mm -hmm. and i asked them a couple of questions and if each question they closed it once or they closed it twice and between that it was silent okay yeah that's so strange because i, I have heard stories about people complaining about extreme back pain mm -hmm. once they've been here as if something was climbing on their back and i know a lot of people who've actually been here walked away with attachments um especially even picking up artifacts in the hospital mm. Um, I'm one of them. So, <laughs> what do you think haunts, who or what do you think haunts this hospital? To be honest, I'm not sure. I know for definitely there is stuff going on there. Definitely. What is here and what is happening here, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about. Like, what attracts you so much about this place? Why do you keep on coming back? I don't know, there's a couple of stuff. It's not really about the haunted, but more about the building and the history stuff that everybody sees here and the stories that you hear about the place. Why was it abandoned in the first place? <sighs> to be honest, you get a lot of stories about people saying, you know, everybody just got here in the morning and left everything and went. But <clears throat> the most stories that I've heard is that they had to close the hospital down because there was no money. That's the story I heard the most. But what I believe what really happened, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know what to believe, why this place really, really closed. Okay. So you, have you been inside yet? Yeah. And is it scary? <laughs> yes. Why is it scary? Uh, is it because of the ghosts? Yeah. Is it? Better because you know. <laughs> oh, okay. But you haven't seen anything, eh? Me. Yeah. I didn't see anything. Okay. But others. They see. The other security guards. Mm. Yeah. Like, what have they told you? Most of the time at night. Yeah? Yeah. So at night there's stuff happening there. Mm. Do they see something or do they hear noises? The noises, they see something. If there's anybody down here, if there's any entities, any spirits, we're not here to harm you, we're just here to find out more about you. This device we left on the table, we'll make sure we can hear you, so if you can touch it, we'll go off. This side? Yeah. Net not on the Yanni Hoge, net not on the Gesset. Sorry. Dude. Was the Jeep talking just now? Sorry, Dave, let's go and check here for me. Um, you're recording as well, eh? Mm -hmm. You guys stand where you are. Okay, just hold. Take your light down. Check the camera. Mm -hmm. Zoom in, zoom, 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 zoom. But take it away. Any other shots? Uh -uh, Yanni, stay there, please. Nothing. Mm. That's what you mean. I wonder if it's. 100%. 
Os Chico e os de Sem? Não, não, não tem assim. Definitivamente os de Sem, não. Né? Yeah. Estou livre de comunicar com vocês. Não me esqueça. Ik heb de eerste keer gehoord. Hier was een koude werk geweest. Ik was geschoten en ik ben met de draai. En jullie hebben het nog bij gekomen. Het is nog gelukkig niet met de draai. Het is nog niet koude. Hier die koude was nou weird geweest op die vijf. Oké, en de vaste spiek op. Is er iemand in hier? Anything you'd like to tell us? If there's anything in here with us that was making noises, please do it again. Was it you that made that tapping sound? If it was you, do it again, please. different with catching words and noise. Do you prefer us to speak English or Afrikaans? One tap for English, two taps for Afrikaans? English. Okay, English it is. Can you tell me your name? Maybe name hide and seek as a kid. If you want to play hide and seek, give us one tap for yes, two taps for no. Okay, that's a good number. Alright, so you don't want to play hide and seek. Can you tell us your name? 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 Sean? If that was you, can you can you please do it again? See, we're not here to harm you. We're here to make contact. To stand here along the road, pick him up. I feel a pain. It is weird. Verstaan jy het dit nou beweeg? Skies, ek kom terug na die technische kant hier, ek hou niet waar jy is. Waar hy probeer heel tyd focus, en toe ek nou vir jou nie afneem, toe hou hy op en toe, dit is asof die issue die jou nou volg. Wat hy nie aan iemand denk? 
als het ware. Oké, okay, Jannie. Oké, okay, dus kom. Ja, nee, is je rijdt en je bent er blij. Ik heb een Dit lijkt een black hole en ik heb mijn haren reis in die hele foto. Dit lijkt me. Holy. Ik ben fucking staring into infinity. Ik ben insane. You guys just talk. I was video. Oh. Yeah. Hey, keyboard. <laughs> that one I'll leave. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll. <laughs> it's careful. Oh, God. Uh, in the end, yeah. Yanni? Ze pas hier gaan. Je raakt. Die was niks niet. Stand op, ik zit niet in gaatlijk. Ik denk dat je dit op camera. Dus is een shadow. The video footage wasn't clear in this instance, but right before the shadow made a run for it, Henny captured this on a still photo. When we zoom in, you can clearly see the apparition of what looks like a woman. Is there someone here with us? Again, I repeat myself. Please make this device my hand coat off. Is there someone here with us? Is there someone here with us? Is there someone here with us? Kijk, dat is ook een kijkje van toe. Ga niet zo. Dit is wel op, dit is letterlijk gezien, dit gaan we ook hier. Oh, shit. 
Dan sloer die tyd van dat die vraag. Ek kan nie om gaan neem, ek kan nie check die soort. Nee, ek kan kan nie, ek kan nie, ek kan nie by die threshold gaan. Ek sal ons haar, ek kyk, ek kyk so vir my, so swaard vir gier, so ek, tjoe, toe gaan hy so. En jy daai kan probeer? Ek kan nie geprobeer, ek kan nie. Nee, ons nie, ons drie kan het monteer. Maar ek wil nie met een jou leer nie so. Ek wil nie, 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 nie. Maar die ding is al, al gul en skree nou, en ons, daar is te veel meer hier, ons kan nie hoor nie. Dit is een saai. Ja, hulle volg, ek denk so achtervolg vir Stefan ook nog heel tyd. Hier is nie in van my mentor gebeur. Hier is ook gegeven die dag geoogd, en hier is kunnen vir dit doen. Wat af? Bespeur. Hoe toch moet ek mens wees? Valle dit op saai ons af. Kom met jou bij. Stefan? Dit is scherp torch. Gooi vir my scherp torch toe al onder. Holy crap. Hier was al my niks gedoen. Ja, hier ook. Wel, wil nie. Hier is al my niks gedoen. Al my tijd. Wil nie vlit doen. Wil nie vlit doen. Hier was my swaar nie aan. So jy sê, jy was summonings gedoen. Voel jy dit? Er is iets anders eraan nie gaan. Jy is ook onder. Er is iets anders eraan nie gaan. Jy is nie hond het hond het shit nie. Jy is shit dat jy weer het na die tijd, na die plek toe gemaakt het. Jy is iets anders ter. Het lijkt nie haai. Jy is een lammer kreeg nie. What we do, what we wouldn't do for footage there. Yeah. Um, Fuck! Um, let's see, like it. Yeah. You can hear that, go here. Hello? Shit. Is there anybody here with us? Janie! Am I blijft gestel? Is there anyone here with us? Did you just make this EMF go off? Who are you? Are you hiding up here? I was moving up there. There was definitely moving up there. Come on, sir. Oh shit! That has failed. Yeah. But shit, it's a coffee plate. How's it going to tell an electric side not to ride into this? Not good. Jerky. Yeah. Come on, let's go cock to the limit for cocks. This is also not going to sit in the cock. Ons is nie so verspoke, nie met die kak, kom een keer, kom een keer, hier is iets anders daar. So vir ons weer net op al lok. So is housing gebouwe, dit is die buitenkant, mens kan omstok en nie inkom. Ok, so is, was moving gewees, man. Okay. 
hands. I figured about three moving to the other side. Something is definitely down there. Is it going to stall me like electricity? There's nothing. No, there's nothing. If it wasn't for the beep, I wouldn't have. Yeah. Is there anybody down there with us? Were you summoned or conjured? And now we're going to come out with it. Go focus in If you are here, give us a knocking sound or a tapping sound or make the EMF really go off. Clearly you know how to use this, so let's use the EMF meter. Yes. One for yes, two for no. Are you an entity? Yeah, I tell it so. Is it? Ja, maar dit is ook om hierdie ding nou af te gaan uit. En dan tou die die bluetooth is aan, nie die SP7 nie. Wat voel jy? Is it bad? Is it a bad thing? Ek is ander getrek, ek gaan uit, 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 You've got my attention. Tell me what you need. Why are you following us? Clearly he's following us. So, het die, het die ding jou nou begin achtervolg? Ja, ek wil om met dagkrijf van hulle af. Hulle weet nie wat hulle fucking doen op hulle. Dankie. Ek is, ek is uit. En dan? En dan? Is she fine now? Yeah, yeah. So no shop, yes. Is it on the bola gebeur it? Yeah. As they're not going to go out, they're going to go out. Yeah. They're not going to go out, they're not going to go out. They're not going to go out. I've never seen this cock out of the investigation. I've never seen this type of... It's not... It's just demon shit. Yeah. It's not going to go out. Yeah. Ah. 
So what was really interesting about this investigation is the fact that as we were putting the video together, the story kept developing. And it got to a point where after the investigation, when the investigators started reviewing the evidence, things started to happen. Henny was the first to let us know. A lot of strange noises that, that night was in my house and I eventually decided to go to sleep. And after I had quite a vivid dream of, of all kinds of stuff, I can't even remember the dream. So I decided to uh, wake up, go and make myself a cup of coffee, just sit around and I thought I heard footsteps in my house. So I got back into my bedroom where all my cupboard doors were standing wide open and I never leave a door open. I hate leaving a, a, a cupboard door open. I don't do that. So I got back into bed and after that it was calm. Not, not, nothing happened after that. Then the Sunday, I, I woke up and I got back into my kitchen where my kitchen cupboards were standing open. I thought, no ways. Now, I'm not a, not a scared person. I mean, you can leave me in the dark anywhere. I'm not scared. But Funny enough, I was scared in my own house. On that Sunday morning, I was scared in my own house. So after that, that happened, so so I took my daughter, uh, took my daughter away, and the Sunday afternoon I got home, and there was just funny things. There was footsteps, all kinds of stuff happening in my house, and that's when I decided to actually contact Yanni, and I said to him, "Listen, I'm scared in my own house. Doors are opening." I don't know what's happening here, and that was my experience afterwards. Then, Stefan? It was, it was like, like, it was like, like constantly, constantly something, something watching, watching me. Uh, a feeling that, that I had that there's, there's something behind me, there's something, something looking, looking at me. At me. Uh, I, was I was kind of scared, scared to move around, around the own house, house. Um, in, in the, the fear of I'm not too sure exactly what. what. So, so yeah, yeah, I felt that something is definitely not right, right and that something came with me from the outside. I can't really explain it. I basically put in my, my earphones put, put my YouTube on as loud as I possibly could and try to ignore noises so that I don't, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid to move. move. Like, to that effect, effect like, you can't, can't get the light on the faucet. Like, like, I was scared. Like, like properly scared. scared. Even Charmaine got affected. I didn't really think anything of it and didn't experience much, except in the basement area where I had an extreme feeling of fear. It was very dark there and it was like, every every nerve in my body and every hair standing up just told me to get out of there i i can't fathom this feeling it's just i need to get out of there until we got out and someone noticed that i'd been scratched after that things had started to get pretty weird at home um once again out of nowhere an extreme feeling of fear just overcame me and once again it was nothing that led to this feeling of fear it was just there and i was extremely agitated i was extremely jumpy like it felt like you're gonna have a jump scare around every corner of the house and it was so bad that that sunday evening i could not sleep i literally felt like a 10 year old where i was hiding from the monster underneath my bed and i just wanted to pull the duvet covers over me um and we did hear a lot of strange noises inside the house banging against the stair rail railings and it, it's as if it wanted to make its dominance known in the house but at the same time just wanted you to succumb with fear in hindsight looking at the whole project i think whatever is down in that basement is extremely intelligent and it knew exactly why we were there and I think the intent that our investigators were attacked with in their own private homes during the day was because we were going to expose it. Editing the video and putting everything together, um, even I started getting affected. Got to a point where I, I can't work on the video when everybody is at home. And I wasn't even on the investigation. Mister, this, this is, is one thing that can't explain to someone. I mean, we've been doing this for years and years and years and years. We've been to the lunatic asylum. We've been to abandoned psychiatric asylum. We've been to countless 
prominent investigations. We've experienced everything we've seen, everything. But like one thing you can't explain to someone is how people feel this day. You, you're walking alone or you're walking through the space and you feel far, and all of a sudden that fear that comes over you. It, it's, it's like, like your body's body instinct, instinct, fight or flight instinct, instinct that kicks in and tells you this shit, shit, shit not, go not go shit, shit. something's, something's up. up. Um, and, and that's, that's one thing that happened that entirely. As, as the editing process progressed, um, I had help from, from Kunal, including him in, in, in the video, as a, as a frequent visitor, along with, with Samuel. And the more myself and Kunal spoke about it, especially from his side, he, he became more and more uncomfortable, I would say, and also he let me know that it made him feel sick sick in the sense that when he talks about it he starts phys feeling physically ill to a point where he told me that he's really reconsidering ever going back to the Kempton Park Hospital Samuel also let us know that there was a bunch of people contacted him who have the same notion not to not to ever go back there again and people have walked away with attachments I think for anyone that wants to go to the Kempton Park Hospital really needs to approach it with caution and really have a think about it because you don't know what you might be walking into. There is no doubt that the abandoned hospital is haunted just like so many others we've come across. But the lost souls are completely overshadowed by the darkness that was brought here after the Kempton closed its doors. In the aftermath of the investigation, we can't help but wonder how many unfortunate visitors have picked up attachments and are still dealing with the effects years later. In around 2016, it was said that the building might be demolished to make way for a new institution. But if rumors are to be believed, it was built to last and only needs a serious renovation to get it up and running again. One can only hope as another working hospital is sorely needed in these times. And as for us, we will absorb this experience and what we documented will go into our archives. One day we will return, but until then, we will do what we've always done. Track down haunted locations, unearth the history, and find ghosts to hunt. You know, um the more one begins to sort of take time and understand these things, it makes sense. And, uh, you know, you'll always have your naysayers and the haters and, you know, those that would watch your videos or, you know, comment uh, on, on the groups and be like, yeah, but it could, it's not that, it's, it's this. And, you know, those are the people that have never been there, that have never taken the time to go out there and check the stuff out. So, you know, for me personally, it's never come down to trying to prove anybody wrong. You know, especially after my first trip there, um, you know, I felt more a sense of um, overcoming, a sense of achievement, um, in a sense that going out there and doing this stuff as opposed to just reading about it and watching other people do it. So, you know, one can always take something different away from an experience like this. You know, you can always turn something bad into something good. And I feel, you know, with that being said, um, you know, respect to your team, respect to yourself for, you know, documenting and, um, you know, taking the time, um, you know, to get the team out there, not just to Kempton Park, but I mean, you guys have been everywhere. And, you know, to spend time in the field, and, you know, big respect to you guys for that.